Well, they both came on at the same time. You need to sit up, otherwise Facebook isn't going to see you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Well, you can see me now. This is my wife's idea. I hate the floor. <laughs> Just so you know. But look at you can see my flowers. That's great. My leaves. We're here to... You want to tag me? Because you know, it's fireplace. telling me to tag. Yeah. And he's grumpy. Why am I grumpy? Let's see. I'm setting up two cameras at the same time. I'm sitting on the floor. I am old and my knees hurt. Be all right. Okay. All right. So we're live. We're the trustees. I'm Chris. I'm Tony. So if I'm positivity all the way through. Oh my word. So if you are turning, tuning in live, please say hello. Um, and if you catch this on the replay, please say replay so we can circle back and say, hey, thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to talk today about something that we experience locally. Um, we live in a town of approximately what? Well, if you count just inner city, it's about 80,000, but the surrounding area, it's over 100, probably 120,000. Okay, so we went out to lunch today, and we normally don't do this. This is why we're probably way behind the curve on knowing this new technology, but we went to McDonald's because it's right down the street from where I work. And it's actually an iconic McDonald's. Um, that McDonald's has been there, I believe, since I've been around. And I was a kid. That's yeah. been a while. We don't but ever go there. It's gone through so many cool stages. I mean, at one time it was like kind of a like a fifties theme. Where or, they had old cars in there yeah. and everything else. It was really cool, but times have changed, times right? Have changed. So the whole point of this live tonight is that times again have changed. So um the McDonald's on Main Street, it's on the corner. Um we went into it. They have done some remodeling, and you know I drive by it every day. Don't really pay attention. It's been probably two, three years since I've actually been in that McDonald's. Anyway, we walked into that McDonald's, and right when you walk in the doors, keep talking. There's <laughs> kiosks, so you can place your order. Now we were in Minnesota this summer, and we experienced that same thing. Um, but it, it looked, it was just like one kiosk and it was kind of off in the corner. It wasn't really a focal point when you walked into the McDonald's, but I mean, this was like right in front of your face. You don't even know that there is a place where there is a human who can take your order. Um, and in fact, they have shortened that counter space to just one that I could see. Yeah. I think there was one cash register there, um, with one person working and everybody was going to the kiosk, including us, because we're kind of nerds. So we wanted to. Uh, well, we're nerds, try and it. you know, well, I don't want the I don't it. want the sixteen year old to <laughs> question the keyboard, and uh, I don't know. It's just a negative thing on my part. But I would rather go through the technology, and if I make an error, it's on me, and I don't have to sit there and wait for somebody else to figure it out. We love you too, Sierra. So, Thank you for watching, sweetie. Really? Um, Little Sierra's on here. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. She said, so, I love you. So, hi, we miss you. Um, so anyway, I'm just curious if, you know. That's not the only change in there. Now they have people. Oh, McDonald's. Yeah. You know, you go to McDonald's, you get the burger, you <laughs> go about your day, you get on with your business. You know, there's not, none of that social contact that everybody's so afraid of nowadays. But anyway, we're in there and there's a guy going around bringing food, taking stuff away, and interacting with the customers. How are you doing? Is there anything else I can get for you? Is it tasting good for you? I mean, stuff like that at McDonald's. It might be common in other places, other countries, but this is America. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk to people that you're getting food from, right? It's <laughs> well, really strange. It's really strange. Especially yeah. fast food. It's just not... We, we normally don't eat fast food anyway, so it was just kind of out of the norm. Tony's like, well, we don't want to talk to tell people we ate fast food. And I said, I had a salad. <laughs> I had a cheeseburger. <laughs> so I, I did okay. Um, it was but... the little cheeseburger. It wasn't the quarter pounder or the Big Mac. It was the little cheeseburger. It was just something quick and easy. The original. But it was just really weird how modernized they had made that McDonald's, which 
has never ever been that way that I'm aware of. It's always had some sort of a theme. It was almost like a what a futuristic type McDonald's. It was just kind of odd. And I mean the kiosk, it's like big, it was taller than me. It was huge. Um so anyway, we got we got our little number, right? And then we go and we sit down and we wait for them to bring our food. And um, everybody in the big cities is like, wow, these people are simple. People. Yeah, we, we are. We, we don't live in the city because anymore. They probably had it for a while. already. Yeah, I mean, we've been gone from the cities for a while. Um, but uh, um, anyway, we were sitting there and we were talking and I said, and it really bothered me, actually, because I said to Tony, I said, OK, I'm disturbed by this. And this is my age. OK, so I'm just going to, you know, say that much. But um what about all the employees that worked here? I mean, at any given time when you went into that McDonald's, there was probably four or five people just manning the cashier part of it, you know, taking your order because that's how busy that McDonald's was. So they had one person. So all those people lost their job to a machine. At what point is everyone going to wake up and realize that, you know, people are losing their jobs. I mean, and and I said, why is that? I mean, is it because, you know, sometimes people are unreliable, you know, or is it because they want to be paid more? I, I don't know. I, I just was a little disturbed by the whole situation. Our impatience is part of it, too, I think, because we had the same thing at Walmart one time where a guy was complaining about the self-checkout area and how it ruined how efficient Walmart was. And I said, to myself, you realize that those are there for people like you who are complaining about how fast things are. So it, I don't know. I think we're shooting ourselves in the foot with the technology thing. Is it necessary? I mean, it's convenient, but at the same time, is it really necessary? I, I think um, it allows people to um, not interact with people, number one. Um, which it's sometimes it can be painful. I'm not gonna lie. I have to deal with it every single day And sometimes I wish I didn't have to because people can be rude, but I People won't get off their butts to do stuff to go somewhere to, to do it on their own It just when we walked out of the McDonald's guys and I didn't pay attention when we walked in because it's McDonald's You have a drive-through where you go in right? I, we were walking out and I happened to look behind me. There's actually spots for you to pick up your meal if you use the app. So you can do a to-go order with an app, sit out, sit in your car. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I I'm, I'm, I'm might get bashed for this, but if you're going to McDonald's, you maybe want to get out of your car. You know, you don't need to sit in your car to get your you're food. You're like your rant, your negative <laughs> rant today. This is Stop. supposed to be positivity. I'm just saying, so... Uh, I mean, oh my God, but, somebody help me out here. Uh, uh, she's going and going and going, and I'm like, oh, please, the ranting has got to stop. I'm not ranting. But it's like, okay, so now you don't even have to... You just go to your app, and again, it's just weird for for where we're at, you know, Bismarck, North Dakota. It just seemed a little Who's odd. in a hurry? I mean, where are you going? It's Bismarck. The interaction from them bringing the food for your table makes up for the kiosks. Well, that's true, too. Yeah, it's one guy, though. Yeah. I but, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, that would be great if that's always been like that. It was just odd the first time we've seen that where somebody's actually walking around asking how your food tastes. Yeah. And we're thinking to ourselves, it's McDonald's, so I don't really care. It's just... Get it in my belly so I can go about my day. Yeah, I think you texted me one day when you were up there and you were like, this is really bizarre. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, if I'm going out to dine with my wife and celebrate something, yeah, I expect that. But it's McDonald's. <laughs> so, I mean, let us know. Is this like a total revamp of the McDonald's everywhere nationwide? Um, or is it just certain areas are experiencing this? Um, I think our McDonald's did their renovations last year. And we have more than one McDonald's in town, too. I yeah. think we've got four that or tells five. tells you how much we go to them because we right. had no idea this was going on yeah. until recently. I just didn't pay any attention. So, anyway. So, so. Are you done being negative now? I'm not being negative. I'm just saying in general. I just think I it's odd. I practiced my guitar today, guys. 
I'm going to give you some positivity. <laughs> I can get through my cords pretty quick already. I'm really happy. Oh, my Lord. And I enjoyed a McDonald's burger. <laughs> one? Yeah, just one. Okay. Okay, maybe it was two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but they're little cheeseburgers. Uh, <laughs> All right. Patrick says, kiosk in Hawaii, it's every one so far. Aloha, mm. Patrick. Wow. Um, I'm telling you, we're like the last ones on the chain. I bet everybody in the bigger cities is like, boy, these guys are really behind. That's pretty much Bismarck all the way. Even if you go to Fargo, they have everything that we don't have. Yeah, that's true. It's always and been that I way. mean, Bismarck has always been like, yeah, we don't want to grow. We just want to stay the way we are. And then three, four, five years later, we get it. And we're the capital. Yeah. We never did understand that. We used to always drive to Fargo to go to all the cool stores. Yeah. Because there was nothing cool here. So. It's kind of that way, but eh. it's almost like we have to go to Minneapolis if we want. <laughs> yeah. We just don't bother anymore. That's where we've gotten to. Yeah. Yeah. So. Order it online. Oh, more technology. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, well, that's our live for tonight. Expect um, many more because we have been challenged to do mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. So. So we're doing a 21-day challenge. Did you put the tag on there? Oh, crap. No, I forgot. So we're going to have to edit that. So um, we are doing a 21-day um, video challenge. Um, just like we did the 30-day one, we are doing a 21-day one. And we're actually doing this um, with John and Nadia Melton. Yeah. Yeah. The Tower um, of Power, as Nadia calls John. Yes. My Lifestyle Academy. So we are super excited about this. Um, and we will actually be doing a lot more lives, probably more than three a week. Um, and we've been slacking on that, too, and decided... We actually enjoy doing lives. We hope you guys enjoy watching them. Um, as long as someone keeps a smile on her face. Hey, oh, I, I no just, more negatives. I was just saying what I was <laughs> thinking. Um, and um, so, anyways, but if you know you guys are interested in doing a video challenge, let us know. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. John, John, and Nadia are awesome, and um, we're looking forward to um, this challenge. And we actually win prizes. The first three we already have, but that's cool to have two. But of we're them. okay with that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm like, I want to be on the leaderboard. John Melton, I want to be on the leaderboard. So we are doing. John. Um, diva. I'm not a diva. <laughs> I have a very small diva light. <laughs> Nadia's got three big ones. Still the diva. <laughs> Anyway, so um, thanks for tuning in. Have a happy Friday, a great weekend. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a Cooking with Chris somewhere this weekend because we always do it on the weekend. And then we'll figure out what else we're going to chat with you all about because, you know, how we are. So, anyways. Rambling. Have, I am. Sorry. Have a great evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> see ya. <Bye. laughs> how do I stop this one? <laughs>